Hi guys. It is currently January 2nd, 2018. Wow, not 2018. Holy cannoli, it's 2019. Wow. <laughs> I hope you guys had an amazing New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And if you did things that you regret, then we don't talk about that. That's totally fine. No one has to know. So this video is something I've wanted to do for a while because one, I'm lonely and single. And secondly, I'm lonely and single. And I figured what better way to bring in the new year than to imagine that I'm in a relationship with seven beautiful boys. Today, we are diving back into the world of Tumblr and we are gonna be reading some gossip and one shots and imagines. Because you know what? I'm lonely, I'm single, and I have nothing else to do. And my standards for men are impossibly high because of got seven, so might as well kill two birds with one stone. What does that even mean? I don't even know. Let's just get into this. Got seven reaction, you kissing them in front of the boys. Oh, these are so cute. I can't, okay, 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 okay. And this was by request. So let's see what um, XLBTSO has come up with. The first one is for my sweet otter baby, Yeonjae. <clears throat> I feel as if Yeonjae would be half into it and half not. He would love showing off that you were his and his lips were the only ones that get to go on yours, but he wouldn't want to show off too much. He would give you a short, sweet kiss and giggle. He, aww, I can see that. Covering his face as it went red when the boys would lightly tease him about it. That's adorable. They would totally do that to him. You would probably feel a little embarrassed as the boys poked fun at you, sitting next to young Jay and burying your head sleepily into his shoulder, him quickly becoming your shield. Ew, PDA is not okay, Bam Bam would yell. Of course Bam Bam would be the one to yell that. Of course! Falling off the couch dramatically, despite how short the kiss actually was. Yeonjae and you would laugh loudly before your boyfriend glared at him playfully. At least I'm getting some, you would say, causing Bam Bam to pout. Next one is for my sweet baby Jin Young. I love him. I treasure Jin Young so much. I just, I love him. This sucker would be into it. Even if you wanted to give him a small peck, he would put his all into it, making sure to be a little extra. He loved showing off the fact that you belong to him. When your lips would linger on his, he wouldn't hesitate to pull you on his lap and kiss you deeply. Ooh, we love a dominant man. Possibly with some butt grabbing too. I'm crying. <laughs> all rational thought would shoot out of the window when your lips locked with his, and he wouldn't really care about the rest of the boys surrounding him as he kissed you lovingly. Get a room, Mark would groan, smacking Jinyeon on the shoulder playfully. You know, that's the best idea I've heard come out of you in a while, your boyfriend said suggestively as he gripped your thighs and carried you into his room, you giggling loudly as your legs wrapped tightly around his waist. Oh, that's cute. That's actually cute. And I kind of would see Jinyoung do, honestly, because Jinyoung, he doesn't seem to be the type to be like that, but I, that makes sense. It makes sense. The next one is for our eldest boy, who was also the biggest child, Mark. Mark would only be into it if he had the right mindset for it. You might even have to tease him a little, getting him slightly in the mood before he agrees to kiss you in front of the boys. Otherwise, he would just hold your hand sweetly as you both joked around. Oh, that's actually cute. That, I, I see that, that's, that's adorable. When you did tease him into the mood though, he wouldn't hesitate to lean towards you on the couch, his hand reaching up to cup your chin as he pressed his lips passionately against yours. <gasps> Oh my god. Both of your lips slowly began moving in sync, his tongue gliding ugh, playfully against your plump bottom lip. I can't, okay, that part made me cringe. All actions halted though when Jackson yelled out dramatically, finally realizing what you two were doing on the other side of the couch. Mark would get embarrassed that he had got caught, but would lean into your ear to whisper to you, you got me caught, you're gonna have to pay for that. He softly whispered, sending you a discreet wing before turning to look at the boys, leaving you wanting him. Uh, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, Mark, it be like that sometimes. It be like that sometimes. Okay, I'll see you. This one is about our lovely leader, JB. J Daddy. <laughs> Me too! <laughs> Jay Daddy would love kissing you in front of the boys. He was always desperate to prove that you were his and only his, even if the boys already knew. When you pressed your lips against his, he would drag you on top of him, his arms wrapping around your waist tightly, pulling you against him as he bit slightly at your bottom lip before engrossing himself in the feeling of your soft lips against his. One of his hands would ghost down your back, grabbing one of your closed cheeks playfully, allowing his hand to linger there as he kissed you passionately I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got carried away. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <clears throat> After a bit of kissing without commentary from the rest of his bandmates, he would grab your ass fully, dragging your clothed womanhood against his groin, causing you to let out a soft 
mule causing all the boys to turn their heads to look at you both. That escalated so quickly. Oh my god. We look away for 10 seconds and they're already at it. Yu-Gi-Oh laughed as Jamie shrugged, noticeably pulling you against his bottom half again, enjoying the astonished look on yu gi face as he goes. <laughs> that went left. That went all the way left. The next one is for my ultimate bias, my baby daddy, Jackson Wang. Let's read it. He would be super into it like JB, but he definitely doesn't mind giving you kisses in front of the boys. You were his princess, and he was willing to do pretty much anything you wanted, even if that means kissing you in front of the boys. Oh my god, I'll keep that in mind for when I meet you, Jackson. A girl can dream, shut up. When you took on his sweater sleeve, causing him to turn towards you, you hurriedly planted your lips against his. He would smile into the kiss, his eyes fluttering closed, as he kissed you for a few seconds. He would pull away and lean back against the couch, wrapping his arm around your shoulders and pulling you sweetly against him. He would kiss your forehead, not caring about the odd glances he was getting for being so sweet to you. Oh my god! You guys are so sweet that you're giving me a toothache. <laughs> Young Jay commented. A large grin splattered across his face. You would eventually fall asleep against his chest, listening to the soothing sound of Jackson's heartbeat. I... I love that for me. The next one is about Mr. Worldwide, Young and Rich, Bam Bam. He would definitely like it, even if it was just sweet packs. He loved showing off that even though he was younger than all but one, he could still score a beautiful girl. Oh, that's adorable. I see that for him. I see that for Bam Bam. I can't. He loved you a lot. And he always talked about you with the boys, and it wasn't much different when he kissed you in front of them. Oh my god, my sweet boy, I love you. Oh. If the atmosphere was happy and light, he would kiss you sweetly, his plump lips molding perfectly with yours. When you both pulled away because of the need for air, he would cutely lean on your shoulder, pressing his lips gently against it. If it was exposed in any way, it would intertwine his fingers with yours. Now if he's in the mood, it's a completely different story. Oh God. He would kiss you heavily, tugging the blanket up slightly, covering half of your faces as your lips began trailing along your jawline. When he would reach your neck, he wouldn't hesitate to suck heatedly on your sweet spot, enjoying the soft mule it would elicit from you. What's a mule? Is that like a moan? Is that what that is? You know, I'm just gonna assume that's what it is. He wouldn't even care if they heard. Even if they started complaining, he would continue kissing you just to piss them off. That is, until he would have had enough and tugged you along to his room. Ooh, okay, all right, bam bam. It'd be like a surprise, all right? Take hey, control, honey. The last one is for our sweet baby, Yukio, who just doesn't get enough attention and love. He would love it. Every time he wanted a kiss, he saw it as a chance to prove to his Heongs that he isn't innocent or little as they sometimes perceive him. He would kiss you deeply, his hand moving to hold the nape of your neck, his other retreating to your hips, pulling you endlessly close to him as your lips moved and sink. Jin Young would whistle, proud of the Gus having maknae for getting so. <laughs> I hate the fact that I can see Jin Young as an instigator. I could definitely see him as that. Oh, I hate him. Your tiny crowd of onlookers be a mix between complaints and praises. When he would pull away, he would smile giddily at you, you pulling him down on the couch so you could cuddle him, not really caring about your small audience. It would eventually calm down and everyone would stop complaining about your PDA, going back to whatever they were talking about before, as yu gi whispered sweetly in your ear, I love you, princess. I can't. That is adorable. Y'all, <sighs> I personally, I think yu gi is like baby cute. I don't think he's like, he's handsome, but I don't see him the way I see Jackson. And I see Jackson a completely different way, but yu gi adorable. And I hope like the girl that dates him just gives him the world because he's adorable. And I'm not saying the same about Jackson because we all know for a fact that I'm gonna be his girl. So I don't make the rules. I, I'm just a messenger, sorry. And on that freaking note, we're good, we're done for the day, it's over, I can't. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give this video a big old thumbs up. That helps me out so much. Also, don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos, hopefully every single week, and click that bell so you don't miss out whenever I post. And if you wanna follow me on all my social media, they'll all be linked right down below. Until I see you guys again next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.